Welcome to Let's Weave Beads. Here I am at my sliding glass door with my most recent finished piece. Um, this is a 3D peyote star pattern. Uh, oh, unfortunately you can't see that very well. There we go. Um, by uh, the Tales of Beads. And this piece I decided I wanted to make with my four millimeter faceted beads. Um, it's the first piece I have made um, in a while and I just felt like using my beads and I hadn't really thought about the size that the piece would be. Um, here I'm going to show you the ruler. Let's see. You can actually see the ruler. This is a one foot um, ruler and you can see it is much larger than the ruler. Um, the the shape of the star is uh, kept in a couple of ways. One is the ornament ball you see in front of it. There is it is a 200 millimeter ornament ball uh, that I got on Amazon and it is in the center of the star and is keeping the round shape in the center. Um, the other part is done with support beading, which I'm not sure you're going to be able to see this um, because of the lighting. Uh, yeah, you can actually. It's not too bad. Um, as you can see here on the diamond, uh, the darkened in area is where I did some crawl and it adds to support to the points so that they um, stay um, pointing outwards instead of collapsing in because with the right angle weave the uh, piece will not just hold its shape um, and as with the formula faceted beads the piece is one very large so it's a little large to make a plush insert for and they're transparent as you can see here um, so it's nice not to have the plush inside of it so that you can have the light shine through so for both these reasons I used the crawl to uh, make the support so that I would need to put anything other than the clear ornament ball in the center now when I did started this piece I hadn't really thought about the size um, so I was thinking about just making it flat once I realized it was going to be so large. But the way that the faceted beads uh, come together, it actually came to kind of like a point in the center. It like bulged up and came to a point. So I actually had to rework the way that I stitched the uh five diamonds together so that it would be more curved rather than coming to a point. And here, hopefully you will be able to see this. Uh, you can somewhat. Um, as you can see, uh, I have single beads like normal, but then in three spots I have double beads. I use two beads instead of one in the connection to um, help it make its shape. And then you can't really see it, but the very last one here is supposed to be a bead, but there's actually no bead in that spot in the very center. You just um, thread around as though there is a bead there to connect the two diamonds together, but you would add no bead. Then, of course, because I added the support, when I add started stitching the two sides together, the two halves of the star to make the 3D star. I also had to make some slight adjustments, which you'll see here on the top. Oh, that actually showing up much nicer. Um, and you can see at the very top, there's four places where I use two beads and at the very, um, where the two sides of the two came together down here, I also added to use two beads instead of one. Um, so if you were to ever decide to make a um, four millimeter 
plastic faceted bead star, uh, you would need to make these slight adjustments to the original information I have put up for you about making 3D pe um, peyote stars into right angle weaved stars. Um, if you have any questions on this, uh, please comment. Um, if you just love the, the results, uh, let me know. And I hope to have more videos soon and see you later. Happy beading.